Today we are going to discuss the Baron Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First Baron Coat of Arms to discuss is blazoned ermine on a saltire, a saltire gules, five annulets or crest, a boar passant azure. This belonged to the barons who were originally named Fitzgerald, and the Fitzgeralds were barons of Burnchurch in Kilkenny, Ireland. I assume feudal barons, and they looks like eventually some of the family assumed the surname Baron. William Fitzgerald Baron, born 1570, was son of Richard Fitzgerald, who was the great grandson of Richard, first Baron Burnchurch. There was also Luke Baron, who died in 1637 of Killisk in County Wexford, Ireland. Very similar coat of arms for William Baron of Carrick's Barahan, born 1761, and later of Ronemore. These are in Ireland, Justice of the Peace, son of John Baron, born 1718, and grandson of Pierce Baron, who died in 1726. It was also the arms of the Barons of Glenview and Killown in Waterford, Ireland. Pierce Marcus Barron, born 1807, lived at Glenview and later at Killowin and Belmont Park. He was the son of William Barron, the grandson of James Barron, and the great-grandson of Piers Barron, who died in 1726. And it looks like these, this is one of the family homes, which I didn't record the name for. It's either Belmont Hall or one of the other ones I mentioned. Quarterly coat of arms exemplified to Sir Henry Winston Barron, born 1795, seen here. He was the first baronet of Bellevue in County Waterford, and deputy lieutenant, son of Pierce Barron and Anna Winston. A baronetcy was a title that was not part of the peerage, but it was hereditary, somewhat similar to a knighthood. Another for Baron or Baron from Devonshire. Also found in a church in Oxfordshire and was found in a document dated around the year 1510. Argent, a chevron between three hearts sable. Coat of arms of Edward Jackson Brown, alive in the year 1855. Fellow of the Society of Antiquaries, citizen of London, son of Edward Barron. The arms was also borne by Alizeus Barron, who arrived in Woodbridge, New Jersey in 1705. And the arms itself is found in a document dated around the year 1470. Baron of West Dereham in Norfolk. Not sure on this one, but there was a John Baron of West Dereham who died in 1683, who had son Thomas Baron of Dereham, born 1663, and they were related to the Reed family through marriage, I believe. Similar one found in a document dated around the year 1520. Another Cresta Garb Vert Eardor, said to be for the barons of Bradwell and Skernby in County Essex, although I couldn't find uh, those locations. There was a John Baron alive in the year 1634 and William Baron. They were sons of John Baron and grandsons of John Baron, all of Layer Breton in County Essex, England. Another Ghouls Freddy Argent on a Chevron Azure, three Garbs or. One from Scotland, Baron or Barone of Scotland, looks very old, or three martlets sable. On a chevron between three martlets, a crescent, the arms of Sir Patrick Baron, who died in 1488. Burgess of Edinburgh in Scotland had a charter of Spittlesfield and Fife in 1477, was provost there, sat in Parliament and was knighted. And some other members of the family, there was another Patrick Baron later, James Barron sat in Parliament in 1567, and James Barron, who left co-heirs when he died in 1610. Another from Kinnard, Scotland, James Barron, a merchant in Edinburgh, Scotland, acquired Kinnard around the year 1536 and had son George Barron, who sold the estate. Barron of Preston. Alexander Baron of Preston, born 1738, son of Patrick Baron of Preston, became a naturalized Swede and received a patent of arms from King Gustav of Sweden in 1785, which he registered in Scotland three years later 
and assumed the name Seton, which he took from his uncle who adopted him. He acquired a stately house of Echo Slund, and it was knighted in the Order of Vasa in 1797. Here we see, I believe, Alexander Barron. Next, we have Baron or Baron of Scotland with a different crest. Um, crest, a Mount Vert, a pyramid proper, environed with ivy. Uh, possibilities include Patrick Barron, who died in 1787, seen here, of Preston. He had son Patrick Barron Seton of Preston. And had son, Dr. Patrick Barron, born 1766. There was also a James Barron. Azure, two lines pass in Argent. The arms of Richard Barron Esquire, alive in the year 1568, citizen and mercer of London, who married Alice Harpersfield and Margaret Morton and had 14 children. He was also born by William Barron, who died in Ireland in the year 1678. Same arms with the crest. For Edward Barron of London, alive in the year 1614, son of Richard Barron of Walden, who was sergeant at law, grandson of Peter Barron of Walden, and great-grandson of John Barron, Esquire of Saffron Walden in Essex. He had issue Richard, Bartholomew, Edward, Alice, Martha, and Barbara. Another for Thomas Barron, who died in 1573, alias Barn of Aldborough, Essex, who died in London and had issue Thomas, Paul, Barthus and Anna. John Barron of Haywood and Lark Hill in Burnley, Co Lancashire, 1881. And I have a note here that says, Was this the poet? Born in 1823. Baron of Tree Gear in Cornwall, John Barron, who died in 1619, and John Barron, who died in 17, 1624, later purchased the Tree Luddock estate in Ego. Carey in the 1590s was succeeded by his sons. Um, John Diggory, Jonathan, George were some of his sons. And later there was Oliver Barron, born 1718 of Tree Gear House, which we see here. Almost getting to the end here. Christopher Barron of London, who had sons Laney Barron and live in the year 1634 of Low Leighton, Essex, and George Barron. Another, which we weren't able to find the armature for, sable three martlets between five estoils argent, two, two, and one, within a border and grail to the last, crest a boar pass in azure. Same situation here, argent three estoils ghouls within a border and grailed sable. And then there is three in a row that we don't know the arms for. Argent two bars on a canton, two lions pass it proper. I mean, we know the arms and crest, but we don't know the grantee. Another argent two bars between six massel sable, three, two, and one. Very similar coat of arms with a crest, a demi unicorn ermine. Orable passant ghouls, not stated. One from Spain, uh, from Belorado, Burgo, Spain, found in the Americas, in the Hispanic Americas, granted to Pedro de Baron, a resident of Belorado, who became Hidalgo on 15. Who was granted Hidalgo status in 1578. Now there are numerous other Baron coats of arms from Europe, including many, many from France, some from Switzerland, and some from Italy, which we depict here. And a list of other important Barons in England, in Ireland, and Scotland during this time. If you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.